I can't believe this met. As someone who's watched an absolute crap ton of TV over the course of my lifetime, like there are people who were 40 in 1960, they didn't, you know, not that there's as much TV back then, they didn't watch nearly as much because like TV wasn't what it was until they were later. TV was big time when I was a kid. So my entire lifetime has been spent watching TV. I'm of that generation. Probably only the second generation where that's true. So I've seen a lot of TV. And what got really boring for me after a while was all the mother-daughter stories, the father-son stories, the father-wife stories, uh, the the, um, son-mother, daughter-father, like all the parental relations, big time in stories. You know, this is your secret daughter. This is your secret son. He's secretly your father, you know. The Blacklist, you can go down. There's so many shows where, like, the parentage is such a crucial part of the show. Is this your parent or not? Or, you know, like, it's a lazy way of establishing why people care about each other. You know, either they're in love with each other or parent-child. And they immediately care about them, and that, then the person can become a plot point and, you know, uh, basically a MacGuffin. You know, they kidnap your kid, then, of course, you're going to move heaven and earth to get them. They kidnap me like I have a best friend of 30 years. I would do anything for this person, right? So it wouldn't take much more exposition and script to describe that. Like, I don't have kids. My parents are dead. So, like, you know, if you want to have him kidnapped as a MacGuffin to make me go on a you know, roaring rampage or revenge or whatever, like, you would, it would have to be him. And so I guess the screenwriters would be like, no, let's make them secretly brothers. Like, they didn't know. He just found out they're brothers. Because otherwise, they, they assume the audience doesn't care. The point is... There's very few sibling relationships here. Even though I just mentioned that. You know, they sometimes do that as a plot device. But as far as, like, the way siblings fight, the way they relate to each other, the way they can bitterly fight, forgive each other, the way they're there for each other when chips are down, but they can be selfish. You know, no show has perfectly encapsulated the sibling relationship like this show has. And I think that's one of the reasons why it's still popular 10 years later. Like, I think it went off the air in 2012. I just saw some on Twitter. Literally 10 years later, people are still talking about this where there's other shows, Phineas and Ferb, nobody's talking about Phineas and Ferb. I put Phineas and Ferb on a poll, nobody gives a crap. You know, so it just, you got to wonder. But I don't have to wonder because I think I've stumbled upon it. I think it's a sibling relationship. Is and Obviously, they have a relationship with their, their grunkle Stan. So that's important too. But the, obviously, the core relationship is, is you know, Mabel and Dipper, but it's also Grunkle Stan and Grunkle Ford, right? Like, you know, Stan and Ford, that's, that's what happened. Like, they could have def- easily defeated Bill at the end of the last episode, but those two brothers cannot get on the same page. And I think that was a brilliant writing choice, especially when I knew that in another episode. Like, you know, like, uh, what I heard was they got an extra episode because when they wrote the script, they realized they did, just didn't have enough room to fit everything in one episode. They could have, if they just made, you know, stand to say, okay, I'll trust you, brother. I'll take your hand. Boom. Defeat Bill. Maybe you get an extra minute or two to wrap everything up and you're done, right? So, but they didn't do that. And they didn't do that because, like, that sibling relationship is what is so important about this show. It's what's so integral to the show. It's what drives the engine of the show. That sibling relationship. You know, and so to have it easily resolved would just feel false. It would ring it would ring untrue. It'd feel rushed. So I'm glad we're getting another episode to explore that. And even if, if they defeat Bill within the next five minutes, I think they'll defeat him about halfway through, so we have plenty of time to wrap everything up. But the fact that, like, they ended last episode the way they did was a perfect choice for the series. So I'm glad they did that. I'm glad to see similar relationships. It doesn't always have to be about parent-child or lovers. You know, which is the two most common kind of stories people want to tell. All right, well, one last time. Here we go. Previously on Gravity Falls, the we're mystery chef for. banded together to try and stop Bill. Wow, we're doing it previously for once. The Stan Bros messed it yep. all up, which kind of brings us up to date. I'm Suits yep. and I'm on the edge of my seat. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> How's that for a cold open? <laughs> oh, this is just too perfect. It really is, isn't it? Brainiacs know the Zodiac doesn't work if you don't all hold hands. Yeah. <laughs> Better, you've brought every threat to my power together. All in one, one place, team. including Rob. Oh, oh no! Ah! 
Well, it's worth a shot. You guys want to see what happens to your friends when you can't get along? No. They're back. You've gone too far, Cypher. Well, yeah, even Gideon's pissed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. you should be. Well, crap. You know, this castle could really use some decoration. <sighs> Well, let's get rid of the spares, I guess. I'm glad Rob's there. Oh, man, Seuss. Play for your friends, Stanford. Is that Wendy? I can't, I can't tell. Oh, looks like it. No, don't do it! Yeah, Bill makes bad deals! Don't Go to hell, Bill. I see everything! Yeah, <laughs> nicely played. I generated that eye! I know that hurts because I've accidentally done it to myself. <laughs> She's getting ready to do it again, Aisha. I guess we ain't got time for a shame again, do we? Save yourself! We'll take care of Bill. What? That's a Let's let the kids save us. We beat him before. And we'll beat him again. Hey, man, these are the two things that, well, uh, he picked the hat. She picked the stupid gun, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, it's too dangerous. Not oh, so no. Fast. <laughs> no, too late here. Yeah. My children I need to make into corpses. Oh, man, he's going next level. They really love messing with this boy or something. <laughs> <laughs> Get my hands on you, kids! You'll do nothing. Disassemble your Can you see again? Is the already regenerated? Looks like it. Hey, man, your gun came in handy for the second oh, time in the entire series. The kids are gonna die. Hey, let's uh, it's fix our beef here. Because I couldn't shake your stupid hand. Yeah, you suck. About me, I am a screw. That's up. right. You better come to this uh, right Don't blame me. The one who made a deal with Bill in the first place. I finally all some easy. Admissions you would have seen him for years. Yeah. <laughs> How did things get so messed up between Because you're an a-hole. Used to be like Dipper and Mabel. The world's about to end and they still work together. How do they do it? Easy. They're kids. Exactly. Money better. Yeah, exactly. Well, Adults where are you get going? bitter. I'm gonna... At least he might let the kids free. He what? won't let nothing free. Are you kidding free. me? Are you honestly telling me there's Kick nothing... his ass. If I didn't have this darn plate in my head, we could just erase him with the memory gun when he steps inside my mind. Oh, man. Now we're talking. My brain isn't good for anything. <laughs> there's nothing in your mind he wants. It has to be me. Tell him the secret. I'm starting to think there's no way out of here. Yeah. My gun door closes. Choose a nearby wall and bash it in. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Round up the townsfolk and together we can defeat. Oh no. Well, this is a problem. They'll never take us alive, monsters. That's fine with us. Yep. Chomp. Well, it just keeps getting worse, don't it? I guess we gotta go with the mind space idea. You yeah, wait! <laughs> you better not I snap your finger. If only Thanos could have stopped like that. Don't do it, Ford! It'll destroy the universe! It's the only way! Oh, even when you're about to die, you find twins just I like can't that they're get along. <laughs> the only condition is that you let my brother and the kids go. Fine. No, Google Ford, don't do it first, though. Because I don't trust his word. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Maybe they removed the metal plate. I guess it'd be pretty messy, though. There'd be a lot of blood. Look at this place. A perfect, calm, orderly boy. Yeah, just wait till you open that door. You really know how to clear your... Oh, they switched. What? Yeah. <laughs> Impression of my brother, don't I? Yes, Which you did. No one can tell us apart. I didn't see that coming. Surprised you didn't recognize him. <laughs> I gotta admit, that's pretty clever. That's right. Wipe him out. He can't do it. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. You're going down, Bill. <laughs> you idiot. Don't you realize you're destroying your own mind, too? Yeah, sure, whatever. It's not like I was using this space for much anyway. Get out of here! <laughs> well, that's just me. Turn around and look at me, you one-eyed demon. Yeah, You're what's a up? real one. Made one fatal mistake. You messed with my family. You went into the mind of an idiot. That was your mistake. Anything, money, fame, riches. He's not gonna fall for your scam. Wipe him out. Yeah, that's why. Bye bye now. Kick his ass. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, you can stop erasing. Oh, no. <laughs> Guess I was good for something after all. Well, that's kind of sad, man. Damn. You can stop, a eh? old oh, Jesus. What a very...
very clever. I, I can't believe I didn't see that coming. It's, it's so obvious that's what they would do, right? That was that was great. Yeah, sure. Make sure that uh, that we know that the gnome lives, right? Screw that gnome. Like I said, you know, not that I'm saying I'm a genius, but they're giving us like two-thirds of the episode after Bill dies. That's interesting. I guess we deserve a lot of wrap-up, right? Find out. Make sure we know the characters are going to be okay, you know. Yeah, that's right. He went out like a G. <laughs> Excellent. That's right. Birds are going to be crapping on you. Oh my gosh! Uncle Stan, you did it! Man, he's done, man. Hello? What's your name? Wow. Uncle <laughs> Stan? I mean, you knew what this was, Mabel. Come on, it's me. It's me, Uncle Stan. Stan, it's me. You knew what this was, like. It, it, she to his like, mind to defeat Bill. She knew what this was, right? I guess emotionally conceptualizing it's different. I get it. You saved me. You're our hero. He's the real hero. Interesting thing is they have different voiceover actors, and I think that they fl flipped. I would have to go. I'll see that in editing. When we go into editing, we'll know that they flipped voiceover actors when they did the switch, right? <laughs> wow, this place is wrecked. This is a real nice place you got here. I don't think so. Jesus, it's look at this. It's your place, Crunkle Stan. Not anymore. Remember, at the end of the summer, he's out here. hugs my butt like it remembers. <sighs> What's on TV? Big guy crying in the corner. Oh, man. We saved the world, but what's the point? I mean, the point is the world's still here. I'm sorry. Stan's gone. I know my grunkle is in there somewhere. <laughs> See, we need her optimism, right? There we go. This has to work. Here's the first day we came to Gravity Falls, Grunkle Stan. I recorded everything. time we went fishing, that summer we we spent together. Don't you remember anything? I remember nothing. Thank you.